And in today's video guys, I'm going to cover the top 5 best search resolutions all your favorite Fortnite pros are playing right now here in chapter 5. All of these give you insane advantages like improving your aim, giving you better mechanics and of course also improving your performance. Since the higher your FPS actually are, the less input delay you're going to have, even if you're capped with your monitor refresh rate. Having these bonus FPS is still gonna give you less latency. So therefore guys, let's check this out and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And first of all guys, we actually got 1720x1080, which is the stretch resolution of Peterbot and Asian Jeff. And just a quick fact guys, Peterbot just had a few of his most insane solo cash cap final games where he literally dropped almost 40 kills and in each and every single one of these rounds he was actually using 1720x1080. So therefore we can know that the stretch resolution is actually insane when it comes down to precision, aim, editing and all of that here in Fortnite chapter. The five. You should definitely make sure to check it out guys, this resolution has huge advantages like giving you a more stretched picture which will immediately improve your aim. Also a nice little FPS boost since of course the pixels are a little bit lower. This is also the main reason why so many pros are utilizing a stretch resolution just in order to make sure to squeeze out a little bit more performance out of their PC. Since we know even if you are let's say as an example have 240 hertz but you're getting like 400 FPS, this is gonna give you a less input delay than having 240 FPS. So therefore definitely make sure to check it out. Next up guys we have 1680 times. 1050 which is the stretch resolution of one of the smartest players when it comes down to rank guys we're talking about Marto. He's literally maining this resolution now since over two years like I can remember he was using it already back in chapter 2 when I once made a video about him already which is crazy to think about there's like three chapters of Fortnite now and Martos has always switched up his resolutions a little bit but at the end of the day he always choose 1680 times 1050. This resolution has all of the previous advantages of 1720 times 1080 with the small difference that it's a little bit more stretch therefore making it even easier to hit your targets guys since of course having a stretch resolution makes all of the enemy player models a lot wider which makes it easier kind of for you a lot of people say it's placebo but even if it's a placebo it's doing what it should be you know you're feeling more confident you're like yo it's easier to hit my shots so therefore definitely make sure to try out this resolution as well it's gonna give you a nice fps boost of around 20 percent this is at least what i got here on my pc guys so therefore definitely make sure that you try it out next up guys we have 1550 times 1080 and this one is also very popular stretch resolution and I didn't choose 1440x1080 for the specific fact that 1440x1080 is already so much stretch that you really can play with it guys. Like I'm not even joking, try it out yourself, this will definitely slow down your mechanics. Of course there are a ton of people who actually play on this resolution who are maybe even in Unreal or some stuff like that or have earnings. But let's keep it real guys, 1550x1080 is the lowest which I would recommend you to go for a super stretched resolution. This is exactly what these are all called guys, when you have like super low X values but still like a high Y value which is 1080. You definitely shouldn't go under 1550 times 1080. This is the sweet spot guys where you still have really all of the advantages of a stretch resolution but not to a point where it's actually gonna mess up your gameplay. I tried it out for me here a little bit in the background guys while free building and I gotta say one of the biggest advantages of having a super stretch resolution is that it kind of slows down really the gameplay itself. Like everything feels so much slower you kind of have more time to go for specific edits which was super useful actually while doing like triple edits or maybe like you know doing tons or some stuff like that it just gives you like a little bit more time or it feels like again guys this is probably gonna be a placebo effect if it does what it's intended to be it's actually something good you should utilize and if you guys ever wonder how I get such low ping in Fortnite it's actually because I use the GR booster which you can by the way try it for absolutely free with the link in the description even marrow the FNCS when I was using it and it's basically making sure that you have the least amount of ping in Fortnite you can see guys right now I only have nine milliseconds of latency which is insanely low what this tool basically does in the background it has this adaptive intelligent routing which is going to search actively even while playing for the best DNS server in your near ensuring that you have the least amount of latency. As mentioned you can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description and GR Booster even gave me a bunch of codes to give away guys so therefore just send me a DM over on Discord that you have this tool installed and I'm giving it away to random people. And now guys for the best low-end PC resolution we're gonna be taking a look at 956 x 648 and this resolution is literally insane for low-end PCs. This is also what I used on my mini PC which had only integrated Vega graphics and I was literally hitting around a 100 FPS guys and the game was super smooth and stable. So therefore I can highly recommend you definitely make sure to utilize this resolution guys. This will give you an insane FPS increase of almost 40% which is crazy. This was at least what I was getting even as well on my low end laptop because you know guys I always try out these resolutions on like multiple setups to make sure that 
I actually recommend you guys something decent, you know what I'm saying. So therefore this is the perfect resolution for integrated graphics and on top of that it's not even too stretched because if you put the scale up again to and compare it with native resolution you will notice it's actually not super stretched, it's just like a downscaled version which kind of still looks like native but it's definitely gonna run a lot better. So therefore please make sure that you check out this resolution as mentioned, you can see everything in the background. This is the easiest step how to get super high FPS and super low input delay like all of your favorite pros. What a lot of people actually don't know, I made a little stripes low end 1v1 map and why you should be playing this 1v1 map in comparison with any other one guys is super simple. You can see this, there are no extra assets. So therefore on this map you really only have everything which you need for like a basic 1v1. You know you have some weapons, you have the reQ button, you can also play my zone wars. But most importantly, this is a super barebone 1v1 map which means that you have super low input delay because there's just simply nothing on this map which could somehow actually affect your FPS. And no matter which 1v1 map you usually play, like the one from like other pros, you know, they always have like some fancy stuff on there which of course also gives you lower FPS because why would you need some random stuff on your map? The map code is right now on screen or you can also just simply type in here Lestripes and then you're gonna find it guys, there it is, Lestripes low in 1v1. Make sure to favor it as well and I would highly appreciate it if you guys could use it. Huge shout out to every single one of you guys for subscribing. We reached such a huge milestone in such a short time and the feedback has been amazing so far. Every single person who's been playing on this map also loved it. So therefore, definitely make sure to give it a try. And finally, guys, another resolution which I want to recommend you is 1811 times 1070. This is one of my favorite resolutions which I was actually using throughout the majority of chapter 4. Because it's so close to native, it really gives you like still that feeling that you're playing on native resolution, but it gives you all of these small advantages as well, like a slight FPS increase because of course we're dealing with less pixels, guys, so therefore the game is going to look a little bit worse quality-wise, but it's really, really really close to native so therefore it's actually so much fun to play with this so if you're searching for a new go-to resolution for competitive give it a try 100 it's not gonna mess up your mechanics or anything like that and only give you all of the advantages which i've already mentioned in this video of a stretch resolution and the best part about it is that your game is still super hd so therefore if you're looking into the distance you will still be able to see all your enemies literally no competitive disadvantage and that's super important guys especially for fortnite comp and i've actually seen a ton of tier 2 and tier 3 pros using this resolution and performing very well in cash cups. So therefore, definitely give it a try, guys, as mentioned. Also, guys, one of the easiest methods to get a stretch resolution instantly on your PC are a tool like Alpha Res, which you can also, by the way, find on my official channel, guys. I've made so many videos about it. Or just simply join on my Discord, dogg slash stripes, and they can find it. You just simply have to put in exactly the stretch resolution which you guys want to apply, and it's going to automatically change all the values for you in the game user settings so that you don't have to do it manually. Other than that, you can also open up your NVIDIA control panel and change it in there as well. As mentioned, I have full-on videos on my channel about how to apply a stretch resolution, just simply search it up and type the straps behind it and you will immediately find that video guys. I hope that this was helpful. And also comment down below which stretch resolution you guys are using actually as of right now. For the matter of fact, actually I would appreciate if every single one of you could maybe comment down below their entire Fortnite setup so that I can do more specific videos for you guys. This would be literally amazing if you could do that and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe guys. And with that said, don't forget to check out the two videos which are right here on screen as well to check how pros actually get super low input delay and high FPS and the other one where I'm going to show you the best NVIDIA settings.